This video describes how to insert a coil in the azagous vein for patients with high DFTs. Uh, oftentimes I'll use a standard vein selector uh, to locate the azagous, but on occasion uh, I find that the Judkins left 3.5 uh, works even better than the um, than the standard shape vein selector. So to do this, uh, first position the patient in the LAO and you're going to be looking for the azagous vein um, at the very beginning of the superior vena cava. Uh, and remember it's a posterior structure, so here we're going to apply counterclockwise torque uh, to the Judkins left and then puff a little contrast and you can see that that's the azagous. And then we're advancing uh, a glide wire down into the azagous as far as we can get it. The next step uh, is to try to advance the Judkins left down deep into the azagous. Now in this case, it was particularly difficult to, for the, uh, the Judkins to make the curve. And so we ended up uh, using uh, an extra stiff Amplatz wire and eventually we're able to force the Judkins left down uh, into the azagous. Now the when you when you can cannulate uh, the azagous with the one of the vein selectors uh, the vein selectors are much softer and they're easier to advance into the azagous but in this case I wasn't able to engage the azagous with the standard vein selector. So as in many other situations, once you get your catheter deep into the structure of interest with a glide wire, we'll replace the glide wire with an Amplatz extra stiff wire, um, and then we'll advance the, this is the whirly sheath, the nine French curved whirly sheath being advanced down deep uh, into the azagous as far as you possibly can uh, because once you take things out things tend to pull back up and you'd like to keep the uh, coil down deep behind uh, the heart for, a best, for the best possible vector. So here we have the azagous coil posteriorly. Ideally I'd like to see this down here um, but that was the best we could do, and with this, the DFTs uh, were uh, around 20 joules, as I remember. So that's how you can use um, the JL 3.5 to locate uh, and advance down into the azagous uh, for high DFTs. Hope you find this helpful.